Seems there's nothing for me to do this morning. I guess they don't need me at the police department. Not that I mind. Meet with a dean. Here we are again. Here we are again. Just a minute. I hope I didn't forget anything. You said something about going to the beach? Yep. Oh, guess who got their entry confirmation for the stunt flying competition? You did. That's right. I've got I've got it right here in the in black and white. We are happy to we are happy to confirm your entry into the annual stunt flying competition. Please have your competitors number ready and show up at the organizers booth on the day at the summer festival by well, who cares about the rest? I'm in. That's great. Yeah, but the festival is pretty soon. I have to I have to make the most of the time until ah until then to get my skills up to par. I thought you already had your years years of experience. Yeah, but I have I have to practice the best routine I can possibly come up with, and not to mention making sure that I can execute execute it flawlessly when the time comes. Practicing gen in general is very different than practicing for an event like this one. I see. Are you ready to see some stunt flying? Sure. Let's go then. To the beach! So, is this where you usually practice? I practice just about anywhere, but today is a nice day for a visit to the beach. And the water and sand is are also good surfaces to practice complicated maneuvers on in case you can't make the landing. Makes sense. Well, don't let me hold you up. Oh, I can't start practicing right now. I'm still giddy with excitement from getting the letter earlier. Besides, I wanted to hang out with you for a while. Um, while we're here as well. Sounds good. Do you visit the beach often? Not exactly, except for practice, that is. It does make for a nice backdrop while I fly, though. I see. Do you ever go to the beach? No, it's not something that was possible for me the last couple of years, but it, but it certainly used to be something other people would do. I see. Sunning yourself can be nice sometimes, but I'm afraid I'm not going to be a fan of swimming. There's much more you can do at the beach, though. Like what? You already mentioned sunning at... You already mentioned sunning. Do you ever get a tan? What's that? I guess that's a no, then. To be fair, you are completely covered with scales, so I imagine it wouldn't be affected. Tanning is a reaction of the skin when it's exposed to sunlight. If humans stay in the sun for a while, our skin can get darker. How strange. And if we expose for too long, we can get... <laughs> we can get even what is called a sunburn. What's that? Well, the skin... Well, the skin can take on a reddish tint and can also be painful and cause dizziness. So you have to be careful not to stay in the sun for too long. Pretty much. Though it's not necessarily true for all of us, depending on the skin tone, people can be more or less affected by the radiation. I see, that sounds complicated. Does that mean we shouldn't stay here for too long? Ah, don't worry about it. Tis but a flesh wound. Tis but a flesh wound. Don't worry, tis but a flesh wound. Okay. I see. Just let me know if you need to do anything. Sure, we will do. You said you don't like swimming much at all. Why is that? Well, if you can imagine, I prefer the air to the sea, even though flies we quite have a <laughs> we have a even though we flies have quite a relationship with the water. What kind of relationship are we talking about? We use it to hunt. I see. So you can you you go fishing, but you can't swim all that well. Pretty much, we can do enough safely to hunt and paddle on the surface, but that's about it. If we actually go, want to go swimming. 
It's recommended we wear a life vest. Is <laughs> I can just imagine a life vest on a dragon right now. Oh my goodness. That that would look ridiculous. Um, is that bad? Our wings are made for flying, not swimming. The movements are, and muscularity are rather different with some training. We can learn to swim better, but it still wouldn't be really effective. I see. And besides, who would choose to learn to swim if we already have the air to ourselves? Flying is just a thing, I guess. Pretty much. You made it sound as if beach is a pretty important thing for humans. I wouldn't say important, rather it's a unique way for people to spend time. It was do often done as a leisure activity or a way to spend the holiday vacations. Sounds pretty important to me. What, what else do you do at the beach? Let me think. I got an idea and started looking for something in the sand on the ground, a bit of digging, and found a smooth stone and showed... Ah! Self-voicing enabled. No. I got an I. No. Self-voicing disabled. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> okay. I got an idea and started looking around some for something in the sand on the ground with a bit of digging and I found I found a flat smooth stone and sh and showed it to her. Do you have any idea what I'm doing with this? Not really. Let me show you something. I went to the edge of the water and and followed closely by Adeen. Now watch this. My arm my my arm is extended to with the best technique I could muster before I threw the stone towards water. Spinning in the air, the stone bounced across the water surface a few times before it sunk to, into sea. What, what was that? Skipping, stone skipping. Never heard of it? No. How'd you do that? I can show you. I looked for another suitable stone and soon found one near the edge of the water. Let's start with the stone. Ideally, we want one that has a big surface area, but uh, but as flat as possible. Got it? This one is also really smooth, which helps too. Okay, so we need smooth, flat stones. Now, the technique is also pretty important. I'm not sure how well this will translate to your anatomy, but I'll just show you how I do it, and then we can figure... And then we can figure what you, what you can do. Okay. Hold the stone like this, extend your arm and curl it like this. Then you throw it in such a way that it stays relatively stable in the air but spins as fast as you can make it. I do it like this. And I threw the stone and it sunk into the sea again. I'm not sure if I can do that. We'll see. Maybe we can figure something out. Okay, let's look for the stone first. Okay. We both, um, we both said looking for appropriate stone. Nadine scratching it around the sand. Uh, she crouched and picked something up before the... Here, how about this one? That should work. <laughs> You've already got that part down. Guess so. Okay, now for the technique. She was holding the stone in her claws at the edge of her wing. I tried to guide her by pulling her wing back like I would an arm, but... It became clear that that it lacked a lot more maneuverability than arm would. For the throw, you want to move your wing forward as fast as you can, and at the very end of the extension, let go of the stone. I'll try. I could see her move her wing awkwardly, and she pushed down. Um, she pushed it forward, releasing the stone, which sunk without bouncing a single time. That didn't work. Yeah, there's wasn't really enough spin on it. Let me try again. All right. I ordered a few steps and retrieved stone and uh, here you go. I tried something different this time. Feel free. Instead of using her wings, she took the stone into her dexterous claws on one of her feet as she continued to stand on the other leg. Effortlessly, effort Effortlessly, she pulled her leg back and rapidly moving it forward, releasing the stone. It flew a bit on an upper arc before it bounced off the water on its 
um, on the water surface once and sub subsequently sunk to the bottom of the sea. Nice. Not, not bad, huh? I had no idea you could do it with your legs. Actually, a leg... Ah. <clears throat> Actually, our legs is what we mainly use to grab things. It's... It's, on, it's only gets complicated if I'm supposed to be doing something at the same time. When, like when I'm waiting, um, sorry, like when I'm waiting in a cafe. Interesting. I suppose someone who's hunting while flying, that's pretty much a requirement. It's actually, it is actually. Um, if I'm at home and eating chips or something, I usually use my feet as well. Hmm. That kind of sounds funny. It probably isn't even half as funny as you are picturing it right now. It's a pretty odd picture in my head right now. Um, <laughs> that was that was a neat trick though. So what else can you do at the beach? I don't know. Build sandcastles. I haven't done that done that in two decades. I tried to imagine that Adine had been building a sandcastle would look like based on what I knew. Now, she probably wouldn't have been using her wings. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you we used to have have contests for building sandcastles back home? Really? Yeah, people would build huge detailed sculptures that would be taller than both, both of us with just sand. Oh wow, that sounds hard though. It is. To me, it seems a bit of a shame to build something big elaborate sculptures out of something like sand that clearly won't last. I mean, if you're gonna spend so much time on something, why not create it that will something that will stand? I agree. All the effort only swept away by the tide or worn down by the weather. Seems wasteful. It's kind of sad when you think about it. I guess we won't be building any sand castles then. I'm in the mood for a snack. I should get something for you as well. Sure. Yes, please. All right. You can watch me if you. You can. You can watch me if you like. Maybe you can learn a thing or two from me. You want to teach me how to fish? Sure. Since you taught me, what was that called again? Stone skipping. Right. Since you taught me how to stone skip, I can show you how to fish. Okay. We actually have two different ways of doing it. There's hunting and angling. I per personally, I prefer hunting though. I can see why. Let me demonstrate. She took a, she took a few steps back and started running towards the sea, um, rapidly flapping her wings. She jumped into the air and at the last second taking off and flying around the area. I could see her staring at the sea intently, circling a few times before descending towards water surface with her claws extending. And she got close enough, her claws suddenly sunk into the water, only to reappear with fish in her grasp. Afterwards, she returned to me, landing near. Did you see that? Ah, oh, she's got the goggles on. Ah, goggles! Oh! The fudge? Not bad, huh? I don't know whether you guys saw that glitch out or, or not. Yeah, but I think my, distinct, my distinct lack of wings would probably prevent me from doing the same thing. You don't have to do the exact same thing in the end. I'm just grabbing them right out of the sea. You can do that. I'm not sure about that, but it's a lot easier with your claws. <sighs> Fish can be really slippery. I guess you have a point. Well, there's still the other method. Angling. Yep, angling. See my tail? She showed, she showed me her tail at the end was a fork. With a distinct shape, and the color reminded me of, of <laughs> looking like a lot of a banana. What about it? This is the bay. She sat near the edge of the water, letting her tail hang into it. This can take a while sometimes, but there's some techniques which speed up the process. The right amount, ah, oh, the right amount, the right, the right amount of movement attracts different kinds of fish. That way we can choose what we're going to get. And that works? 
Yeah, not all the time, but often enough. Interesting. There are even groups that exchange tips for such an angling this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Suddenly I saw her tail whip up towards which had caused a fish to be launched towards the beach and landed on the ground with an audible fud. There you go. That didn't take too long. It can be... It can... <clears throat> it can be very hit and miss. I just got lucky this time, and it's not even the kind of fish I really wanted. I guess that's why you, you prefer hunting. Yep, I, and you don't just get the nibble scars on your tail where the fish bite you. I see. I suppose I suppose angling is going to be harder for you with that forked tail we have. Actually, we have. Actually, we have fishing rods for that where I come from. What's that? The principle is simple. It's a long stick holding over the water, line connected to it, it has bait and a hook. And at the end of the catch, the fish, when the fish bites a hook, we reel it in and get the fish is us. I could not be bothered to say that sentence correctly because after the time travel thing, I've got a bit of a headache. So, you're using a tool that very similar thing? Basically, yes. Sometimes, we also use fishing nets. Oh, some of us do that as well. Not my kind, but usually those who either work for a fishing company or sell seafood on the market. I imagine someone like you doesn't need, doesn't have to buy their fish on the market, though. True, sure, but... Sometimes it makes, <clears throat> but sometimes it makes it easier just to get what I want instead of coming all the way here. I see. Speaking of which, let me get a few more later. Feel free. Once more, she took the light to hunt fish while I was interesting. Watched for for a bit. She kept hunting for a while and started pass and time started passing by. Phew. That should last me a while. Oh, what are those? Seashells? Ah, uh, just a souvenir for when I get home. You got some seashells! So achievement unlocked. Souvenir. All that hunting was good warm up, and I feel ready to start with practice now. Go ahead. I'll, I'll watch from here. Actually, that. I'll be part of the official competition. I need fancy stage name or something. Do you have something in mind? Not really. Have you got any ideas? Freefall. Freefall? Actually, that sounds pretty nice. Do you mind if I go with that? Not at all. Freefall it is then. All right. Are you ready to see some aerobatics? I'm. I certainly hope so. I'll start off with a few easy moves. The stage is yours, Freefall. Thanks. Effortlessly, she took to sky, circling around in the area a few times before she started doing a few maneuvers. Oh, it's nice that they actually got a picture instead of just describing out the whole situation. A roll followed by a loop, after which another she did another roll. It seemed to be less of a practice routine and more of a warm-up to me. Gradually, her maneuvers got more complicated. I saw her circles got smaller and the smaller. A brief, no a brief nose dive and a few more loops and rolls after another. Then she landed and returned to me. What do you think? That was great. You haven't seen the best part yet. What would that be? My very own Adine special, or rather, Freefall special. It's a routine I came up with and have been practicing it for a while. It's pretty difficult, so I'll probably spend the rest of my time until the competition perfecting it as, as much as possible. What does it look like? It starts off with a circle near the ground. As I ascend, the circles get smaller and smaller. Once I reach the highest point, I go into a nose dive in the middle of the circles. At the show, I'll use a smoke trail when doing the circles so everyone can see 
can see me through the cir see me through the circles I made. That's pretty cool. That's not all. While no diving, I'll do a few rows just before hitting the ground, and I'll pull up again. Lastly, I'll end with a few loops and go with the next maneuver. It all ends up making the, a neat shape in the sky with the smoke trails. It sounds like you've pretty you got it all figured out already. Yeah, now I'm now nah, I can't get her voice right. Yeah, now I only have to perfect my execution of it. Don't let me hold you up. All right, here we go. With determination in her eyes, she took off to the skies once more. When she reached a certain height, she lowered and descended until again she was close enough to the water's surface. She started to make circles slowly ascending as the circles gradually got smaller and smaller. Once her circles became small as possible, she suddenly turned herself around and went into a nosedive. Her speed quickly increased while she moved down towards water. Then she did a barrel roll! And another followed by a third. Dangerously close to the water, she suddenly pulled up, as, but as she did, one of her feet went below the surface, where apparently caught onto something, causing her to spin out of control. I saw her feeble attempt to regain control as she barely ma managed to get, managed to steady herself enough to get back to the beach. She made a rough landing rolling on the ground a few times after colliding with the sand. Adine, are you alright? Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. It looked pretty impressive until landing. Ouch, my wing hurts. Here, let me take a look. Can you move it? A bit, but it's really starting to hurt. If I go... If I go further than this, at least it doesn't seem to be broken. Yeah, I guess it's brained. Happens all the time. Really? Well, not all the time, but it happens. What about the competition? The injury is gonna put a serious damper on my practice schedule, but I'm not gonna, but I'm not giving up anytime soon. I guess, I guess practice is over for today, if, at the very least. Yeah, let's head back. I should have some bandages in the cupboard over there. I'll get them for you. What now? Would you do the honors? Of course, where do I start? I think it's this joint right here. Yep, definitely. Okay, let's try doing this right. Putting the bandage on. Okay. Here, that should do. How does, how, how does it feel? Much better. Maybe with this, even I can start practicing again in a day or two. Just be safe. Of course. Well, thanks for the help with the bandage, and sorry about cutting your practice short today. I guess you didn't get to see your proper aerobatics after all. It's not a big deal. Your health is more important. Thanks for coming at any at any rate. You're welcome. I guess I'll leave you to recuperate, and maybe I'll see you next time. Sure thing. Bye. Well, that ended pretty well. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to end the video there. But don't worry. Next part will be out tomorrow. I got you guys covered. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give the good old thumbs up. Subscribe for more of these videos. And I'll see each and every single one of you mates later.